latest flashpoint in Kolhapur unraveled into an Aurangzeb ki aulad versus Godse ki aulad showdown. Can you imagine something that ridiculous and stupid? Are the people of Maharashtra, are the people of India so dumb to believe that the politicians can get away with this kind of thing? Well, after Aurangzeb posters and WhatsApp statuses glorifying the Mughal ruler, designed to provoke, designed to incite, designed to create uh, you know, a, a discontent within, within communities, it sent Maharashtra to the edge. And I don't even know why. The ruling BJP and the opposition are locked in a war of words that is all too familiar and all too stupid. But who is fueling the Aurangzeb fire? We have to ask. We are compelled to ask, viewer. Because violence has taken place, people have gotten hurt, public property has been damaged, private property has been burnt, and taxpayer money has been used. And that's why we need to find out who does Aurangzeb's ghost really benefit in all of this. Watch this report. Political showdown erupts over Mughal ruler Aurangzeb in Maharashtra. Two days after Hindu right-wing groups went on a rampage in Kolhapur against WhatsApp status hailing Aurangzeb, political parties in the state are accusing each other of inciting riots. The Bharatiya Janata Party has blamed what it calls the Tukde Tukde Gang for inciting this vandalism, describing Aurangzeb as a tyrant who committed atrocities against Hindus. <laughs> कोल्हापुर में बाबर के अवलाद खड़े हो जाते हैं और अंजेब के अवलाद खड़े हो जाते हैं भारत के सनातनियों की अस्मिता के साथ खेलते हैं तो मराठा के लोग तो विरोध करेंगे The AIMIM which is blamed for holding the rally in Ahmednagar where these Aurangzeb posters were flaunted has accused the BJP in return of orchestrating the riots allegedly in Kolhapur Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, on the other hand, has called the rioters descendants of Aurangzeb. Savalia Uttaiki Achanak, Itne Aurangzeb Ki Olade Kase Paidawi, Iske Piche Kone, Iska Asli Malik Kone, Yebi Ham Dunke Nikalenge, Kon Jan Butchkar, Maharashtrame Kanun Vivasta Karabho, or Maharashtra Nam Karabho. ये करने की कोशिश कर रहा है ये भी हम ढूंढ के निकालेंगे ये कौन सी जबान है एक डिप्टी चीफ मिनिस्टर की जो चीफ मिनिस्टर था पांच साल के लिए और जो उसके तरफ के लोग बोलते हैं कि एक दिन वो प्रधानमंत्री भी बन सकता है वो कह रहा औरंगजेब की औलाद फिर गोडसे की औलाद कौन है आप की औलाद कौन है मदन लाल पावा की औलाद कौन है the Shiv Sena Udhav faction has accused Shinde government of using Aurangzeb as a political tool. Amid this Aurangzeb face off, Maharashtra opposition leaders are claiming they are receiving death threats. NCP MP Supriya Sule met Mumbai Police Commissioner to file a complaint. She said her father and party chief Sharad Pawar got threats over WhatsApp. Adaniya Pawar sahab ke naam se aaj mere WhatsApp pe ye message aaya hai. Unko ek dhamki di gayi hai, ek website se di gayi hai aur waisi hi dhamki aur bhi is related jo account se is pe aayi hai. Meri binti rahegi Home Minister se Maharashtra ke bhi aur desh ke bhi Home Minister se ki aisi jo harkate ho rhi hai ye gandhi ghatiya rajniti hai aur ye kahan bhi rukna chahi. Sanjay Raut's brother speaking to India today also alleged his brother is getting death threats for speaking out on the Aurangzeb issue. 4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-
the Maharashtra police has registered four FIRs and arrested 36 people for stone pelting, vandalism and rioting in Kolhapur. Aurangzeb has become a political issue in a state that will be crucial for both the BJP and opposition in the upcoming 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Bureau report, India Today.